Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, we are standing now uh, at this moment inside of my Orchid room. And yeah, I hope it's a good sign that I feel the urge to uh, today to do a uh, cleaning. So I call it spring cleaning. Let's hope spring is really around the corner. Because I have uh, had enough of the wind and the storms. But um, yeah, today it's actually not that bad uh, wind-wise. But yeah, I uh, thought to, um, like I said, need to change some things here, and I will show it in a second. And you know how it goes. From one thing changing comes another one and another one, and so forth. So uh, yeah, it ended up in a, a really nice uh, spring cleaning. So uh, let's hope uh, that um, it's a good sign that we will have some nice weather. So I will turn on, uh, around slowly. So here we have the door into the greenhouse, into the house. And this is my uh, black uh, backdrop that was already there that I use for pictures. And I also have my brick uh, backdrop here. It's on a PVC piece, piece that I uh, uh, glued it on. It's very handy so I can pull it downwards use it uh, for pictures most of the times. Like I said, it's glued to uh, a piece of PVC here, so I can turn it back up, and there you go, I will have the black one. But I have my rain barrel here, and that is uh, moved, it's now there in the corner, I will show it better to you, but I did put my up potting table here. Uh, well, for uh, the first reason is now I have this uh, black backdrop as well. So let's put it like this, something like this maybe, or more around here the camera when it's on its uh, tripod. So we will have a nice uh, background there. But uh, it's mainly because I wanted to have a little bit more room to move around. Because if I use a tripod, um, I had it stand over here, my uh, up putting table. There was a little bit of room left, but there uh, I had to put the uh, tripod. So I couldn't get away from that area. I was in the, the orchid kitchen and the operating table, and I was basically stuck and I didn't like it. So I thought, well, maybe I can put it here. I had a little cabinet here, but I did uh, put, it, uh, put it out. So that uh, gives me uh, more room. And like I said, the rain uh, barrel is now over here, where I keep my RO water in. And it's now very close to my um, tap here, and this is the little tap where the RO, RO water comes uh, out from. I have the system itself uh, based here, inside a cabinet. And I use this little hose thing and put it in here, and then I can fill up the whole barrel. And I have quite some liters of water. But yeah, you can see that it um, gave me... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy, but it gave me quite some room here. So I cleaned up uh, the kitchen itself. I will have some uh, stuff here that's not really looking nice, but here is my uh, containers, the containers that I use for, uh, for the water for my orchids. So that is what I need, some uh, water meters here and some wicks, that kind of stuff. And all my cabinets are uh, filled, kitchen cabinets, <laughs> with stuff, as you can see. So I really don't have any room more, but that's okay. I uh, did clean out quite a lot of stuff, so I, if I go leaning towards the kitchen, this is also changed. That was another one. This was one of the last ones that I, uh, things that I did change. I had these um, racks, two racks. Uh, in the same way, uh, uh, position, so horizontal, I should say, I think, like this. They were standing in front of the window. And then I thought, well, I have some more room here. If I put them more diagonal, more into the room, uh, that leaves me with some space here. And that's very nice because here is a window that I now can use. Uh, obviously, I need, I need to get rid of the plants there, put them somewhere else. I really get rid of them, but... <laughs> But yeah, I can open a window and I have um, then the ability for in summer, for the cooler nights to open up the window and have some fresh air in here. And if I really want to freshen up the whole place, so the orchid room 
and the greenhouse it can open up that door and there's a door in the back that gives uh, gives you access to the garden so if I would open that up the air may come from the greenhouse and goes out here or the other way around so I can really give this all a nice fresh refreshing air wise at least that's the idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I probably will if there's a little bit of a wind, of course. But that's more for summer. Um, and why did I do that? Uh, to be honest, so these are the changes. We had some changes here as well. More on the outside of the greenhouse. Let me point it out. In this corner here, on the outside, was standing a willow tree. But that, that tree didn't survive the storms. It really was uh, turning uh, on the right hand side. If you look at uh, from this point of view, the roots were already uh, coming up and the tree was leaning like this. So yeah, that was a little bit too, uh, too dangerous to leave it like that. So we did uh, took it out with a uh, saw. We had luckily had some help, of course. So yeah, now in summer I will have way more sun directly on the greenhouse because this is south facing somewhere there. The apple trees are still there. If you remembered, I will I have them somewhere on a, on my uh, um, channel, a video. But uh, one branch did need to come off as well. So I have way more light for these Venda types, Cattleya types, and my Dendrobiums are up there, and my Miltonias are up there. It's not the end of the world. I think they really would like it, and uh, of course the uh, Tulumnias as well. Um, so, but it might start to warm up a little bit too much, and therefore it's nice to, that I can open that door. I was referring to that door there, and then the window, etc. I can hopefully get some fresh air in. We will see how it goes, and of course I can uh, buy a shading net. But I try to avoid it because I have these bubble uh, wrap plastic there, which I leave on. It's also a filter and I have my shading paint, which works really great, if you ask me. So I, my here and there, I need to repaint it a little bit because of the branches that were touching the, the greenhouse. They did take off the, the paint a little bit. It's not harmful. It's not, uh, it doesn't uh, do harm to nature. So that's okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't use it, of course. But... Um, yeah, so no problem there, but I need to repaint a few areas. So that's um, what changed outside the greenhouse, which has a big impact inside the greenhouse, of course. And uh, But it did left us with these beautiful uh, branches of the tree, of parts of the tree, these beautiful bark branches, which I really love. I, I really, really, really like them. <laughs> So yeah, I grow inorganic, that doesn't mean that I don't like bark, I love it. I will uh, let them dry up a little bit here in the greenhouse and then I will use them for decoration in, in the house. I don't think in my greenhouse or orchid room, but, but this one is beautiful, it's very, very large and big. But yeah, it's coming from outside, so it needs some drying time, quite a bit I, I think. And I may find another place for them, but for now it's okay, they are not more but any uh, more outside, you can see here, I hope you probably hear a lot of wind, but you can see it's uh, um, wet there. My uh, ventilator is on in a moment. So I will go into the pocket room again because of the noise. And I have my little fan, floor fan running as well, but that, does, that one doesn't make as much noise. So yeah, this is... Uh, now the uh, orchid room, and I really, really like it. So much more room to move around. So I can put a tripod over here and I can ac very easily move around it if I need something from the kitchen while I'm repotting, for example. And I also have a new ca camera. This is my old one, but the new one is um, charging. And somewhere this week I uh, will receive my uh, wireless mics. Uh, because the new camera I, it should be a bit better um, and it also allows me to put in an external mic and that was something that I really wanted 
because it's uh, like I said, it makes it easier. So I can move around, I can grab an archive, come back in front of the camera, and you can still, in meanwhile, I can talk to you and you will still hear it very clearly. At least that's the plan, of course. <laughs> but yeah, it should uh, work. So that's uh, also new. But you may not really notice it in the videos, but now you know that uh, that probably should sound a bit better. Very nice bloom. Blooms, I should say more. But yeah, this is uh, this is it I, uh, for now. Um, like I said, I really like this uh, area now. It's very nice and and, and uh, cozy. Yeah, I think that's the good word. It's beautiful. I can I can uh, reach everything very easily, and it gives me quite a lot of space to uh, walk around it. And also, if I really 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 wanted. This is uh, where I can sit now and drink a cup of coffee for example and enjoy my plants <laughs> which I do, which I sometimes do. I really love it. But sometimes, quite a, quite a few times a week and I didn't set much here in the orchid room but more inside of the greenhouse. But now I think I will uh, change every now and then. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what I can uh, do if I really wanted to put buy two more of these shelves and put them over here. So I can um, drag them a little bit more into the room when I want to open th up uh, open up the uh, the uh, window or put them on wheels. You can have them on wheels as well to make it a little bit easier. But for now I have enough room, so I don't need it. But it's it gives me always a nice feeling, and I think you orchid lovers, growers out there, you can rely to that. The feeling that you have more room for you never know. <laughs> That's something uh, that gives me. Um, yeah, a great feeling. You never know what you come by, right? If you see an orchid that you really, really want to have, it's always nice to know that at least you have the room. You may not have the money for it, but some because some are very expensive, but at least you have room. But yeah, I know it's a lot of uh, it's an issue for a lot of people that you don't have the room, and don't get me wrong, I had that happen, and. I now have something around 325 orchids, I believe. So yeah, you can I can fill up every area with with a pot with an orchid, but I need to give them all their care. So it's not a goal to get more. It's just there is a uh, uh, possibility or, or, or a um, I I can have more if I really want to. But to be honest, it's not like it's not a goal because I have so many. And I want to take care of them uh, all as good as I can. So yeah, I don't. I, we don't need way too much. And I can see it now um, because I have in the greenhouse still my thrips and my aphids. They drive me crazy. So you can imagine if you have so many plants, it takes up so much time. So yeah, I'm now going easy. On. But definitely, if I see a Miltoniopsis that I don't have. I will bring it home, or it must, it must be very expensive. Then I'm and then I'm leaving it, or of course if it's not in a healthy shape. But otherwise, yeah, Miltoniopsis always. <laughs> and we have spikes coming, you guys. We have spikes. We already have these two, two beautiful blooms, of course. But you can see more spikes here, and even more spikes in the back. So soon we will do an update on these guys as well. It, it, I need to do a blooming update. No, I did already did it, I think. But I need to do an update on my uh, golden elf, for example. That one is blooming. So yeah, that will be uh, soon here. So yeah, you guys, this is uh, me a little bit rambling about things that uh, are going on. But I really had a very, very nice day. It was nice to clean up the floor a little bit here and there. And um, so yeah, a nice change. It feels different. It feels more, more, yeah. How do I put it? More like me. I can now, like I said, easily reach the window if I need to and etc. I really think this is a beautiful change here. So yeah, for now, thank you uh, for watching. Some butts in the screen while I... Uh, thank you for watching and... Um, well, uh, thank you for watching, yes, that's the third time. <laughs> Um, I hope you like this change and um, for now I hope to really see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!